I'm Jack Guinness and welcome to the second episode of my Modern Man City Guide. As a global man about town, stay with me, I often find myself in new cities with only 24 hours to spare and over the years I've created four key rules for getting maximum good stuff in a minimum time. You've got to meet and hang out with the locals. Try the local delicacies, leave your map at home, get lost in the city and soak up the culture, the galleries, the literature. Come on, vamos. Hi. Hello, good afternoon. Checking in. Can I miss, please? Guinness. Guinness. Oh, wow. It's massive. Oh. The easy open door, which is great. Wow. It's not older than I thought it would be. It's like a proper like Mediterranean city. This is amazing up here. I like seeing people's balconies and imagining what their lives. Like, I'd like to live that person's life. So I've got one night in a day, and I need to kind of see all of Lisbon in that. I've got some friendly locals to help me along the way. Let's do this. <laughs> wait for the lift. Hello, Jake. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Welcome to Lisbon. Thank you very much. I'm really excited. It is your first time in Lisbon? Yeah, I've never been here before. Miguel Nunes is a Portuguese actor. I think Danny Dyer. He's a bit of a man about town, apparently. And he's going to show me how they do it here in Lisbon. Have you been here before? Yeah. Alma is the hottest restaurant in the city right now, run by celebrity chef Enrique Sapasoa, Portugal's equivalent to Jamie Oliver or Gino De Campo. Welcome to Alma. Thank you. Could I get a hay club and ginger? Thank you. How do you say cheers in Portuguese? Saúde. 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 It means health. Health. Bon night. Bon night. I'm Jack. Welcome to Alma. Yeah. Thank you so much. I was just coming over to introduce you to the, to the menu. If you want to try one of our signature dishes, we have the confit suckling pork. It's cooked 24 hours to feed, and then it's roasted like crispy, crackling skin. Awesome. Thank you. Snacks to start. Mm. I've never eaten anything like this. I'm getting like 100 flavors. It smells like chocolate. It remembers Christmas. It does taste like Christmas. I love the abstractness. This macaroon remembers Christmas. That's true. A beautiful point. This looks absolutely amazing. Well, well I can't wait to eat it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Eric. Have a good This is like the best pork belly I've ever had. It's ridiculous. Shows. Saud. Saud. Cheers. I want an orange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll both have some orange at the same time. It's like no orange I've ever eaten before. How was it, guys? Very good, thank you very much. Yeah? Enjoyed it? That was the best pork I've genuinely ever had in my life. Really? Seriously. Cool. Thank you oh, so much for coming. So good. I hope you enjoyed it. Next up, we're heading to Cinco Lounge, a speakeasy where the bartender is world class, literally, after winning Portugal's world class competition in cocktail making. Hello. Welcome. Can you get Thank two you. cocktails? I recommend something special with homemade apple and uh, star anise and cinnamon puree. I'm not a big fan of anise. But Neither am I. I hate it, but let's just try it. <laughs> I'd knock myself out if I did that. <laughs> I'd knock myself out a few times. <laughs> you, have a, you have a lot of natural rhythm. It's like you're a musician, but for cocktails. Thank you. Obrigado. So what do you call this? That's the Cleopatra coming at you. Cleopatra. Enjoy the drinks, guys. Obrigado. Wow. The nectar of the gods. It's good to see a different side of Lisbon. Miguel tries to tempt me with more of Lisbon's stylish night spots, but after a cocktail, I am ready for bed. After all, I've got some serious exploring to do tomorrow. One night. Morning. I've accidentally put on an eight-year-old girl's bathrobe. It's tiny, it leaves nothing to the imagination. I don't feel that manly, I'll admit that. No, no, I'm not gonna get changed. I'm gonna stay in this all day. It uh, fits me perfectly. Just gonna be walking around Lisbon, just lunging. This is such a pretty place, it's, it's gorgeous. I love buying tat, but this is like really nice tat. <laughs> Two little mugs. And so right now we're coming up to the castle, which sits on top of the hill overlooking Portugal. Mm. It's called a pastage de nord. It's quite hard to eat on these gracefully. 
It was beautiful. After some local street food and taking the views, I'm off to Umbashada, a shopping centre in a palace. Naturally, my carriage awaits. I've been on tuk tuks in Thailand when I was a kid, but never in a proper city. This is insane. They've got like frescoes on the wall. The Ribeira de Cunha has recently opened its doors to a host of diverse concept stores by emerging Portuguese designers. It's the most beautiful shopping centre I've ever been in. The architecture is absolutely incredible. Last stop, I'm meeting up with Lara, a street arts events producer who's going to show me around the LX factory. Nice to meet you. Located on the sprawling grounds of an old factory complex, it combines design shops, restaurants and creative studios. It looks amazing. Yeah. Quick detour into Le Devager, reportedly voted the most beautiful bookstore in the world by the New York Times. It's just absolutely massive. How do they even get the books at the I, top? I really don't know. And there's a coffee shop yeah. on there? I've never seen anything like it. It's genuinely breathtaking. I'm in book heaven. It's a really nice place. How long has this been here for? Uh, six years, maybe. Apparently the owner makes these weird little machines that don't seem to really make any logical sense. He's making me feel like a little kid again. He's basically kind of mad inventor. I'm Jack. Pietro. We are in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and he's definitely Willy Wonka. He's mad, isn't he? I love them. He's great. The LX factory is famous for its experimental street art. Lara runs a charity where she gets the local elderly involved in graffiti. Yeah, you heard me, Granny's graffitiing. You won't find that in any guidebook. We had people, more than 200 people until now, uh, between 60 and 102. He's aged 102. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you can't shake her. I've never spray painted before. Can Tita teach me? Yeah. I'm tall, I'll go at the top. Yay! Yeah. I did it. Okay. I'm spray painting with Granny. It's really mm -hmm. cool. After being inspired to try my hand at street art by the local octogenarians, keep going, I love it. Mm. I let Lara get back to her day job, but before that, she shows me a final view of the city. I've had the best time in Lisbon. I've tried the local cuisine, got a taste of the culture, and I didn't even get lost. It's such a beautiful city with a real old meets new vibe. I can't wait to be back, but for now, my home turf awaits. Adios, Lisbon! Adios.